about some of the recent developments and uh, the recent places which were in news. The first one is Tilari Conservation Reserve. Now this lies in the Sindhudur district of Maharashtra. Here a king cobra was sighted and this has been declared as a con uh, conservation center. This is the seventh wildlife corridor which is now declared as a conservation center in uh, the region of Sindhudur. Maharashtra government has declared this region of the Dodamark forest uh, range which is in the Sindhudur district as a conservation center now. The next is the Tadasar village. Now Tadasar lies in Sangli. Sangli is known for production of dragon fruit. Now dragon fruit which is locally known as Kamalam is one of the unique fruits where it is either white in between with black dots or it is red with black spots. Sometimes it has a flesh with the white uh, flesh and yellow skin. So there are three varieties. Sangli is one of the most fertile areas where turmeric is grown, uh, grapes are grown and largest number of sugar factories of India are located here. Here recently exports of dragon fruit is one of the major things we are focusing on. Tirupur in Tamil Nadu is known as the nightwear capital of uh, the knitwear capital of India. So cotton knitwear export is nearly 90% and it, uh, it contributes to huge amount of foreign exchange. This region is also known for banyan industry, cotton market, the kangyam bull and the utukuli butter. So those are some of the major uniqueness of Tirupur. Tirupur in Tamil Nadu, one of the major areas. Ramanathapuram or Ramanad district is known for its links with Ramayana. There are many tourist places including Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memorial which is located here, the Pamban Bridge and it is also known for palm tree. Now recently with palm oil production getting uh, focused, these are the areas where luxuriant growth of palm oil and palm leaves has been done. Palm leaves is also used for house based handicrafts and oil palm is again a probable area, a probable um, thing which can be grown in this region. Villupuram district in Tamil Nadu is known for permaculture. Permaculture, we have different layers of vegetation which includes various crops. Natural security and climate resilient farming system is commonly seen. This is one of the areas where uh, there has been a experimental permaculture farm which is developed a very important development. Kachar district now, Lelapur village in the Kachar region of Assam had conflicts with the regions of Manipur, the very, uh, sorry, the Mizoram, the, uh, the Vairangt in Mizoram, um, in the Kolasip district and here there was the violence on the Assam-Mizoram border which was seen. Now this was one of the major uh, things which was in light of the illegal Bangladeshis on the Assam side which are creating trouble for both the regions and Kachar is also known as the gateway to Mizoram. It is also one of the major educational hub. The next is the Ramona National Park in the region of Assam in the Kokhrajar district. Now this is the sixth national park in Assam. This is within the Bodoland area and has the boundary with the Peku River. Uh, this has also buffer regions to Manas Tiger Reserve, a sixth national park in Assam. The Thol Lake which lies in the Mehsana district is uh, known for the critically endangered white rumped vulture. Uh, we also have seen the common pochyard and white fronted goose. Uh, this lies in Kadi Mehsana and Mehsana is also known for one of the major centers of ONGC for offshore oil production. Vijalpur village is known in the name of Lord Vajinath Mahadev. Uh, here we have numerous Jain temples which are also located and SOPs started for social distancing based on the COVID protocol for reopening. Uh, Shivpuri district in Madhya Pradesh recently received very heavy rainfall. It is known for uh, the various structures during the Sindhya period. Uh, uh, you also have numerous waterfalls like Burako and Tunda Bharka Ko, uh, which are located here. So this is one of the major centers of Sindhya dynasty. The next is Narsingpur district in Madhya Pradesh. It lies on the Shakara River 
which is a tributary of Narmada. And here uh, we have most uh, number of literates in the whole district, uh, in the whole state of Madhya Pradesh. So again, this district, the Narsingpur district, is an important district. Uh, there are numerous rock paintings. The locals call this as the Putra Putra uh, Putraya, as the name of the local paintings, the rock paintings. The next is Kannaru in the Krishna district, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, here we have seen sightings of bullfrog which is the largest frog found in the Indian subcontinent in Vijayawada. Uh, it, it has basically green brown appearance and camouflage immediately with the surrounding. The breeding season is during the rain period and uh, Krishna district if we talk about this district this has been named on Krishna river itself which is the third longest river in India. Sangaredi district now uh, we have the Hyderabad uh, the Hyderabad uh, which is one of the major centers and we have the Sangha Reddy, sorry it has been wrongly marked. So we have the Sangha, uh, Sangha Reddy district in Telangana. Now this is where the first rapid electronic artificial intelligence system has been developed and this is mainly for uh, the development of Kovi Home, the self-powered uh, testing kit at home and this is at an affordable cost developed at IIT Hyderabad with uh, which lies within the Sangaredi district. Now Sangaredi district incorporates certain parts of Hyderabad metropolitan region and these are the Medak, uh, the Kamaredi, the Rangaredi areas. So Sangaredi is one of the important uh, districts which incorporates certain parts of Hyderabad metropolitan and the first rapid electronic artificial intelligence powered uh, COVID-19 test kit was developed here. The next is Perum Kumlam. Perum Kumlam village in the Kolam district is where the Kerala's, which is known as the Kerala's first book village. It is located at the Kulakad uh, and this is one of the areas where the Bapuji Smara Granth Shala has been developed, the first book library or has been known as the first book village in this state we have various uh, bookshelves or book nests which have been set up in this region kolam is uh, the kolam district is again known as a port center and it is a maritime center Raisin village in kullu district is known for the monk fruit cultivation now the name comes because the mo the buddhist monks use the fruit first and therefore this is known as the monk fruit the farmers have started growing this with uh, the agreement under the material transfer agreement and there have been clusters which have been developed for this. Koratpur district in Odisha is the area where Japanese quail are now uh, basically uh, 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 taken care of. So one of the major poultries which is grown, uh, which is taken care of uh, in the Kuratpur district is quail, Japanese quail under the material transfer agreement and this quail belongs to the pheasant family has been domesticated in Japan since more than 500 years and there are two versions one is the black one the other one is the brown one both of them are used for meat and during the COVID pandemic this was one of the breeds that was highly uh, grown in this region. Mahoba district here the Ujwala 2.0 was launched for free gas connections to the BPL families. This is the updated version of Ujwala 1 and the migrants won't have to submit the ration card proof to get the LPG cylinders. So Mahoba was the uh, center through which it is started and it is also known as the 9th century granite sun temple of the Prathara style. The next is Jhajar district. Now here we have uh, two important things. One is the Bindavas Wildlife Sanctuary, which is the largest wetland of Haryana. Sultanpur National Park also has numerous migratory birds. Nearly 220 different species are seen. And then we have uh, both of these now under the Wetland Convention of the Ramsar Agreement and therefore become important. The Moda Bidri is one of the major regions in Dakshin Kannada district in uh, Karnataka and this is where the Kam uh, Kambala training sessions are taken place. So Kambala is the annual bull race. Now these bulls are used in the paddy fields for uh, slowly churning the soil but uh, they also have a bull race in uh, the region of Karnataka and this is known as Kambala. So uh, the bull owners actually come forward for this. Moda Bidri is also known for Jain Kashi or uh, is home to numerous giants.
and temples. Pratihar in Bihar is the center where uh, the basically uh, the program has started for uh, tourism development. It is also known as the Jute Capital of India. Uh, there are numerous uh, programs as part of the aspirational district for improving the socio-economic parameters of the local people. And this lies in the Mithila region of Bihar. Uh, the Golabi Lake is also part of uh, this Katihar district so katihar district in bihar again important so those were some of the important locations that we have discussed for now we would be covering many more interesting lectures in geography stay tuned for updates from our side and for your mains we provide a lot of sessions for answer writing uh, personal guidance and evaluation so if you are facing difficulty in any of those feel free to connect to our helpline number and definitely cover all these important contemporary locations for for your upcoming mains examination wish you good luck answer writing is the very key for scoring in your mains paper so be well prepared with your answer writing and the style for answer writing we would be covering many more sessions ahead so stay tuned wish you good luck